Kia ora team, Brad here. Now, I live at Mount Maunganui in Aotearoa, New Zealand. The locals call it the Mount. And I believe that I live near one of the most beautiful trails in the world. Hey everybody, Coach Dan here from the Run Experience. I really like that Brad likes his little trail down there in Aotearoa in New Zealand. I think it's great. I'm happy for you, but the truth is I have the world's best urban running trail right here where I live in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. How do I know? Well, right now I'm in downtown St. John's. Pretty amazing. You can see the core of downtown over my shoulder. I'm right now in a little community called The Battery. Here I am. Wait for it, friends, because from downtown St. John's to my favorite trail just happened. Here I am on the North Head Trail around Single Hill. Now, I know my trail is better than Brad's. I can't wait to tell you all about it in this video. Oh really Dan? Well I'll tell you what, let's have a little bit of a competition. Let's pitch our trails to the community and see which one they like best. So let's go for some runs on the trails, get some b-roll, compile a video and let the viewers decide. And I'll tell you what, the loser has to do one of Morgan's famous burpee miles. You on? Let's go. I've tucked in here out of the wind as the sun shines over the North Head Trail to tell you all about it. First thing to keep in mind, this is a national historic site here at Signal Hill in the North Head Trail. What that means is that this 5K out and back trail goes around one of the most important places in the history of the world. You like that fancy cell phone you're on? Well, wireless communication started right here. Yeah, it's a fair point, Dan. My friends, the first wireless communication was sent by Marconi in 1902 from this spot. This spot also, the most easterly point in North America is just right there, Cape Spear. So when I run this in the morning, I get the sunrise first, baby. Reason number one, for me, convenience. This little mountain at the end of the Ishmus is only 20 minutes run away from my house. So it's the perfect workout, 20 minute warm up. And then I've got a mixture of trails. I've either got a four wheel drive, I've got a single trail, I've got steps, even some rock hopping. So I can cater a workout, have that warm up and then that 20 minute warm down. Perfect. So convenient, so close. My number two reason is vert. Just the training value out here on this 5K is unbelievable. I'm climbing the second to last set of stairs out here. And so just for some context, I've come all the way through some of the most amazing single track and technical running and then near the top here they've got a great set of stairs uh, four sets actually that bring you up to the very very top and the top here is about 170 meters above sea level where I started and so in two and a half kilometers to get to the top half of this you've covered that amount of terrain what does that mean it means on a 5k out and back so where you go to the top of the hill back down to the bottom of the other side and then in reverse you get th over 330 meters of elevation gain and descent by running one 5k this is the best bang for your training buck as a trail runner you're ever going to find being able to grind out some amazing technical trails with that much vert so close to downtown is the core of every trail runner in this part of the world's training routine. All of us spend our time out here because there's just no other way to get great mountain legs unless you're going to get lots of climbing in. Oh, it's so windy up here because I'm so high up now. Check out that view. Number two, variety. As I said in reason number one, I've got a choice of so many trails on this little mountain. Four wheel drive, steps, different gradients, single track, ascent, descent, rolling terrain, rock hopping, you name it. This trail has it all. Awesome variety. Now, beat that Dan. So we talked about how important this place is, the first wireless signal. Parks Canada National Historic Site. I told you about the training value of the vert. It's amazing. You've seen the views in the background, but you know, my favorite reason to run out here is the wildlife. From the top up here, there's actually an eagle's nest you can look down into, a bald eagle's nest you look down into. On any given run out here, I see humpback whales, I see foxes, I see bunnies. Listen, I don't really 
want to throw any shade on Brad's trail, but you know, they've got some pretty scary animals down there in New Zealand. They've got spiders and snakes that'll hurt you. I think maybe hippos or tigers. I don't know, bad stuff. There's bad stuff down there, you gotta be careful. Dan, you are spreading misinformation. Dangerous animals, I think you're thinking about Australia, not Aotearoa New Zealand. We have safe, beautiful animals here, nothing that will hurt you. So I think that's one point for Aotearoa New Zealand. Nothing out here is gonna hurt you. Everything just wants to be friendly. Check out this cool video of humpback whales I filmed out here last year. If you're not sure that this trail is amazing, let me tell you, the good people at Disney are releasing a movie called Peter Pan and Wendy this year, 2023, in which they decided to make Neverland where? Right here! The North End Trail on Single Hill is actually Neverland. In the upcoming Disney feature film, if you're not sure what they filmed near Brad lives, well, that's where you go to destroy the Ring of Power. Ha! I love you, Brad. I know I got this one in the bag. Despite the wind noise, the community will vote for the North End Trail. And you will have to do that bourbon mile. I love you, brother. Thanks for doing this. Dan, can you get in the ocean after your trail run? Oh, so refreshing. Reason number three, Dan, I've got an ocean that I can swim all year round here. I've got on one side beach so I can surf, and the other side, Pilot Bay, I can swim laps. So after my trail run, I can have a dip in the ocean all year round. Beautiful. Can't wait to see which way you vote for. Which trail, Dan's or mine?